Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jason. Today I got a little gift. I got a gift from my brother. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn the camera around this way. So, he gave me a bunch of LEDs. I don't know, I think he got them off eBay because when I saw the picture of these ones, it looked like eBay. I'll go ahead and show you the picture. But I'm not really tripping, I'm actually pretty excited. He told me he had some extra ones. I believe they're supposed to be either 14 if you got the sedan or 17 if you have the coupe. I got around 12 of them. So I'm not sure which ones I'm missing. I also know that I already have my license plate LEDs already installed, so I don't really need those. I mean, these should be enough to make a big difference, so. We're gonna go ahead and install them, see see where it gets us, and then I'll show you some after pictures, see what you guys think. So yeah, let's get it going. All right, so the first one I'm gonna start off with is gonna be the center. So you're gonna wanna remove this glass right here. You can do that one of two ways. You could either stick a plastic wedge right here on the corner and pop it off. If you don't wanna do it that way, what you would normally do is, on this piece right here, you should be able to see these little lines and you can pretty much pop this off. After you pop it off, all you need is a Torx 20 or external Torx 20, T20. Remove the bolt on both sides, one and two. After you remove that, this whole back piece should be able to come down after you remove your mirror. Just pull it down, and after you pull it down, you should be able to feel where the clips are for this whole plastic bracket. And then you can pull that down and then remove the plastic. That just seems like a lot of work, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pry this with the plastic wedge. Since I only have one hand, I'll be right back. Awesome. So, I got the plastic cover off. It looks like this. After you pop off that screen, the bulb in the center dome is going to be exposed. Wait for it to cool down and then just pull it out. And the one I'm going to replace it with looks like this. It just seemed like it was the, the closest in size. And also it has the LEDs going in all directions, which I, I really like, at least for the centerpiece. You know, you're gonna, you want as much light as you can. So I only have a few of these. I think I only have two in my kit since it's incomplete. So I'm going to use that for the center ones. All right, so after you get your new LED bulb inside, what you're going to want to do next is test that the bulb turns on. So as you can see, mine turns on and off which is perfect. If it doesn't turn on, try taking it off and switching it. Um, if that doesn't work, that just means you got a bad LED. All right, now to get these side ones that are pointed in, in a certain direction, more to the side, you're gonna have to pop off these plastic clips from the side. Let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> All right, so I got that other one pulled out. All right, cool. So we got the LED in. Let's see if it turns on. And it turned on on the first time, so there we go. Next, you'll just pop in your plastic piece back in. You guys hear the squeaking? <laughs> you pop it in and you're good to go. All right, so we got the one on the right done as well. Um, turn them all on. They all look like they'll turn on pretty fine, so... We'll call it a good. We're gonna pop our screen back on and move on to the next one. All right, you guys, so we're in the passenger side of my car now. The next light I'm gonna do is gonna be the glove compartment. Yours is gonna have the black cover back here, but mine kept coming loose, so I just took it out. So the light is right here. All you're gonna do is, I use my fingers, I just tucked it underneath this plastic and pulled down like this. You're gonna wanna press the button for right now and just let it cool down. Once it's cool, pull it out. When you're gonna replace the other one, just make sure to press the button again and let go of it to test it. All right guys, so the one I'm gonna replace this one has three LEDs. Um, as soon as I let go, it should turn on if it's in the right direction. Also, you wanna make sure that the LED panels are facing the direction that they're supposed to aim. There we go. These are good to go. We'll tuck it back in. And that's the glove compartment light. All right, since I'm already on the passenger side, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. The next light is gonna be these bottom ones down here. Same process, so just pop the square out. All right, sweet, so I stuck a flathead on the side, you know, popped it out. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it from this black harness here, and then give it some time to cool down before you replace it. The next one is gonna be the one right here on this door. Right underneath, there's a the bulb. You're gonna wanna stick the flathead, pop it off, and it should look like this. Um, after that, just disconnect the black harness again, and then let it cool down. All right, so. After you remove this plastic piece from the harness, you could either pop the screen off 
and remove the bolt from the top or what you can do is twist off and you should be able to pull it out all right so now i'm in the back seat next there's this back dome panel as well i'm gonna remove the pla the plastic piece as well awesome so i took the plastic piece off it's exposed it's pretty much the same thing as uh in the front you got the three bulbs take them out the same way yeah they all seem to use this one so all right so it's in same thing we're just gonna test it really fast turns on and we're good to go um you want to do the same thing for these back ones all right so i'm gonna sit right back in the passenger seat and i almost forgot these ones right here right at the top uh same thing you're just gonna pop these out take off the black harness and these are exposed and then i'll show you which one i replace it with this is where the longer four panel is uh gonna come in handy so i'm gonna go ahead and replace it point them out in the right direction and show you what it looks like all right so i got it on there just a heads up, um, the LED was a little bit loose in there, so all I did was bend the metal prongs together. So just bend it together, and then once you got it kind of tight enough, throw it in there, and it should hold pretty well. Like, mine holds pretty well now. Let's toss it back in, and to test it, you just pull it. I had already tested it, so you guys. We're going to repeat the process. So on this side, it's already gone. Uh... Yeah, this one turns on, but this one was already gone. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. All right, so go ahead and pop this out real fast again. Take off the black harness. All right, I went ahead and replaced the LED real quick. Let me show you what I meant by loose. So you see that? Uh, it falls out by its own. All I'm going to do is squeeze these together a little bit. And then that should hold it in tight enough. All right, now it's a lot harder to remove the LED panel. So we know it's good. Twist it. And sorry, you're going to want to test it first. It doesn't work on this side. I have it in the wrong way. And that's why you want to test it first. All right. So for some reason, this side doesn't want to turn on. That's weird. All right, guys. So I know I said uh, this one wasn't working on the driver's side. I got it to work. Just make sure there's a switch right here. And there's also a switch when you... Slide this one. Uh, just mess with both of them if you're having problems. But for right now, I believe we have a few more lights. But the next light I'm going to do is going to be the one inside of the trunk itself. Let me show you guys. Alright, so the light I'm talking about is going to be this one inside of here. Mine's actually LED already. I believe the previous owner must have already switched it out. It's been super useful being super bright like that. But it would essentially be the same process. You'll just... Pop this out right here. You can use your fingers or use a flathead screwdriver and it'll be the same process. So yeah, that's the only light inside of the trunk. The next lights you would want to do are these two down here. I already know mine are LED as well. But same, same process, same exact process. So you don't have to take all the lining inside of the trunk. Just uh, pop these out from outside with the flathead. Same thing on this side. This one's already pretty much popped out, but you'll pop them out, replace the bulb, um, test them out, and you're good to go. All right, so I didn't get to use these two license plate LEDs. And this other one, which was for the trunk, I'm not going to get to use either. And the only ones I have left now at this point are these little flat ones, which I have absolutely no clue as to what they go on. I don't know what other lights could be replaced, to be honest. Other than like, especially because they're so tiny. My only guess, my only guess is this. Let me show you. Would be these little lights down here. Mine are, are already LED though. So. And yeah, I have no clue how you would even get to them. Maybe you'd pop these off, but yeah, I'm not experienced enough to, to show you those ones. So I'm not too sure. If anyone has any idea as to where these ones would go, let your boy know in the comments below and I'll definitely go ahead and install them for you guys. Give me a few hours and then we'll be right back to continue to talk about these lights. A few moments later. Alright guys, so I'm approaching my car right now, uh, or at least where it's parked. And I'm going to unlock the car. As you can see, you can see the LED lights even through the tinted windows. Um, my license plates do not light up, but these ones do. 
same thing passenger so those are super helpful uh, also it gives it a nice touch when you're walking up to your car gets people's attention you know so you can see that the LED lights are pretty bright they go through my tinted windows uh, when they're on so I'm gonna jump in so boom I mean it's it's pretty lit up in here now let me see if I can so yeah hopefully it's focused but as you can see it's it's really bright in here now and I can turn those two on as well I'm gonna jump out the car just so you guys can see so I'm standing underneath an orange light even then the LEDs do a great job of lighting up my interior white um, especially like my seats and stuff I know it looks a little bit orange but same thing with the rear amazing job all right here's a quick video of the license plate leds sorry it's a little bit dirty but you guys can see uh they light up quite well all right you guys saw the lights work amazing one thing i wanted to add right before we finish is that i did not get any dash lights on my dashboard and those were the ebay lights so don't get tricked into buying these really expensive lights just because you think you're gonna get codes on your car like I said, I did not get any codes with these eBay lights. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time. Peace. Okay, let's go!